You're boned like a saint with the consciousness of a snake. Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News, something to watch while you eat popcorn. Do not try to comprehend it all, nay, just eat the popcorn. <coughs> In Odom connected to UFO incident, the Popcorn News of May 8, 2016, it was shown how the 1947 Maury Island UFO incident connects with Guy Bannister, who in turn connects with Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald apparently connects with Rafael Cruz, father of Ted Cruz. And Rafael Cruz connects with Pastor Tim Remington, allegedly shot by Kyle Odom, who perceived Remington to be a Martian. Guy Bannister was the FBI special agent in charge in the Pacific Northwest. The Martian Theory, former FBI agent Guy Bannister connected both with Lee Harvey Oswald in the Maury Island UFO incident of June 1947. Lee Harvey Oswald connected with Rafael Cruz, reportedly seen in photos with Oswald passing out leaflets. Rafael Cruz connected with Pastor Tim Remington, with whom he met in Idaho on May 1st, 2016. On May 9th, a commenter to my Heirs the Moose blog coverage of the video provided a ton of new leads. A link to Heirs the Moose blog is available in the YouTube description portion. The commenter, writing under the name of Lurch, L-U-R-T-C-H, introduces several new characters into the Kyle Odom mystery. Odom is now back in Kootenai County, Idaho where he was brought before a judge on May 9th. Kyle Odom, the man accused of shooting Coraline Pastor, Tim Remington, is back in North Idaho. Cage accused Liz Birch was in court as he faced a judge for the first time on attempted murder charges. Liz. Dressed in a striped jumpsuit given to high security inmates, Kyle Odom was somber and quiet in his first court appearance. By approaching Tim Remington from behind, and shooting him several times with me. Judge Eckhart read him his rights, then explained he faced an attempted first degree murder charge for which he could face up to 15 years in prison. It's been set at $500,000. Odin responded that he understood. We have already heard the names Ted Cruz, Rafael Cruz, and Tim Remington in connection with what could be the trial of the century. Think I exaggerate? Then consider how Northern Idaho had witnessed a serious crisis, a strike by the Western Federation of Miners in the Coeur d'Alene district in the northern part of the state, back in 1899 and how the late J. Anthony Lucas described it as connecting to a murder which set off a struggle 
for the soul of America. Here are some new names to add to the cast of characters in the Kyle Odom case. Liz Birch, Emmy-nominated reporter for KHQ Local News, an NBC affiliate serving Spokane in Coeur d'Alene. KHQ Liz Birch was in court as he faced a judge for the first time on attempted murder charges. Liz. It's been about two months since Pastor Tim Remington was shot outside of his church. And today, the man accused of shooting him heard that serious charge for the first time. Liz Birch must know plenty by now. A book deal could result in the aftermath of the trial. And here's another name. Chuck Missler, whom Lurch commented has a Koinonia House Ministry located in the Coeur d'Alene area and is good friends with Pastor Tim Remington. Missler and Kyle Odom have both authored works on aliens and religion. Odom with his so-called manifesto and Missler with his book, Alien Encounters. And what about Paul Van Noy, called by Lurch quotes, another spooky dude in Coeur d'Alene, end quotes. Van Noy and other of these Coeur d'Alene pastors may be connected with Dominion theology, a theocratic ideology that seeks to implement a nation governed by conservative Christians ruling over the rest of society. At the Friday Panhandle Pachyderm meeting of August 21st, 2015, in Post Falls, Kootenai County, Idaho, Pastor Van Noy warned of, quote, demonic forces, end quote, attacking America. And then there's a man I call the long distance psychologist. That is because Dr. Paul Damitor did not meet and examine Kyle Odom, but merely read Odom's manuscript and quickly determined it was all paranoid schizophrenia. And needed to be eliminated. KXY4 is Allie Norton working for you tonight. She's live in the studio now. And Allie, you've been reviewing those documents all day today. Nadine, it reads like a piece of science fiction. I also reviewed Odom's writings with Dr. Paul Dometer, a well-known psychologist, who says this is a work of someone who suffers from a severe mental day. illness. This young man is so bright that he's trying to chronicle his journey, what happened to him. Dr. Paul Dometer says based on what he's seen in the manifesto, Odom was likely suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. It's a terrible illness. It's heartbreaking to the family. Uh, so let's give a big round of applause to Dr. Paul Damitor, the long-distance psychologist. Forces of good and evil are now coalescing in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Which shall prevail? As J. Anthony Lucas wrote, it is a struggle for the soul of America.